And just when you thought that 2020 couldn't get a whole lot worse, a new type of insect has arrived in the U.S. and its sting is strong enough to kill a human. Greg Argos has more on who's most worried about the murder hornet and its similarity to another bug that is wreaking havoc in our area. Almost two inches long. With a stinger that can penetrate a beekeeper suit. Apparently a quarter inch long. And forget about what the Asian giant hornet can do to a honey beehive. And they will, can basically slaughter all the thousands of honeybee workers in the hive and then cart away their bodies and feed them to the hornet larvae. Perhaps that's why its nickname in the U.S. is the murder hornet. And Professor John Gelhouse, the curator of entomology at Drexel University's Academy of Natural Sciences, says beekeepers are worried because it's been spotted in the Pacific Northwest. We don't need an, an additional pest to affect honeybees. Entomologists in Washington state are trying to track the giant hornet's movements before they become a permanent foreign pest. We have a recent example right now with spotted lanternfly. That's this moth-like creature which originated overseas but landed in Berks County, another invasive species which can decimate grape, hop, and apple crops in Pennsylvania. But fortunately, unlike the spotted lanternfly, this homicidal hornet may not yet have a large footprint in the U.S. It's not clear to me that, that, that those populations are established and will continue. Once again, there are only reports of this hornet in the northwest United States. Professor Galhouse says it likely came in on either a flight or a cargo ship overseas. Experts say this hornet rarely goes after humans, but if it does because of its size, its sting can be deadly. Reporting here in Philadelphia, I'm Greg Argos, CBS.